they will come to the table and eat and sit in a chair and have a conversation with their and pour their own water. Chemo's first trick, letting you think it's no biggie, just sit in a chair, get a little sick. Hashtag kick cancer's ass. What theater asks us to do is, is come into a room with a room full of strangers. Sit in a chair in the dark next to a stranger. And then open our hearts and open our minds together. I resented the way you moved, your lack of animal grace, the way you would sit in a chair to eat, a napkin on your lap, a knife in your hand. No strength, and I would literally could sit in a chair for three hours and days off into space. What I'd like you to do is kind of lean back in your chair. Can you do it? He said, lean back in your chair, look up at the ceiling, look around this place. You see, when you lean back in your chair during a meeting or a conversation, you're subtly passing the message that you're bored and uninterested. It even helps a little if you put your hands behind your head. Lean back in your chair and take a deep breath. Lean back in your chair, nice stretch. Now bring your arms out to a T, clench your fist tight, bring your fists together, your biceps together, your pecs together, and hulk it up, brother. Move on to the last stretch, you're going to push your chair back. All we're going to do here is we're going to lift our right leg behind us, placing the knee on the chair and the foot on the back of the rest. It's called a couch stretch. You're trying to push your head into the back of the chair. You can also do this against the wall if you need a target and then just push your head into the wall. So it gives you some feedback to push your back to the chair instead of hunching forward as you go. So while getting up from your chair, fold your napkin and place it to the left on your plate or on the chair. No, it doesn't have to be folded like before, just make sure it looks neat. Also, push your chair back in. You have to get up from your chair. I know, I know, it's stupid. And you had to walk over. Well, don't get up from your chair. We do not have to leave the Red Palace to take a look. There's a moment where you get up from your chair and you start pacing around. Your supersized glutes are the reason that you can get up from a chair or stand on one leg. And then putting on your leg is the same thing. Without getting up from your shower chair, put your leg on and then get up from your shower chair. You would fall off your chair if you read that report that Americans did what is in that report is reprehensible, unconscionable, and would devastate you if you read it. I'm comedian Alec, and I will make you laugh so hard that you will fall off your chair. Which toy made you fall off your chair? And in comparison, what was the most expensive toy you ever received? Um, and you sit in auditions, and people come in and they make sound, and you just fall off your chair. I mean, you just... So you feel like what you want to do is just fall off your chair and hide under your desk.